page 95 this will be. This is the Affinity Photo Workbook, Changing the Crop Overlay. You can experiment with different crop overlays, including the golden spiral, it's golden ratio, divine proportions, to achieve more interesting compositions that challenge the traditional rule of thirds approach. So let's open Cropping the Golden Spiral JPG from the cloud. There's the golden spiral in the middle. Load that one in. From the Tools panel, select the Crop tool over on the left there. On the Context toolbar, set the overlay to Golden Spiral. Just leave it at the original ratio. Doesn't say to change that overlay. And it doesn't say golden spiral. You note like that, it just says spiral. And that's, you can see, if you look closely in there, you can see the spiral. Now drag the crop handles to crop into the image and reposition them until the centre of the spiral is over the female statue's face. And the curve flows around to the statue on the right. You can see the centre of that spiral is right on the female statue's eye. Well, as near as I can get it in this ex exercise. And those crop handles. I've got it just above his elbow, the little, stat the little statue on the right. I've got the spiral in the main statue's face right on the eye. And that's pretty much it. That'll do for where I want it. Click Apply to commit the crop. And there's what you end up with. It's cropped out the rest of the photo. the crop overlay we're going to use the golden spiral we want to import from the cloud cropping the golden spiral and select the cropping tool mode unconstrained now the context toolbar set the overlay to golden spiral now it's already on spiral and the outside edges have darkened. Drag the crop handles to crop into the image. Positioning the spiral in the centre of the face. We want to bring that one across there a little bit. Centre of the face. Now we can see the handles at either side. Just bring that in there a little bit. Hasn't changed it from the face. It's darkened on the outside. The curve flows around to the statue on the right, and it does. Click Apply to commit the changes. And there we go. That's the end result. Just watch it with um, Affinity Photo, particularly on the iPad. I'm not too sure about the desktop. I haven't tried this one on the desktop. But previously, as you saw, I set this to do the spiral. Now I've come back to do another um, example of this and it, the settings were still in place. 
So let's go back. I wonder if I can reset the settings. Resize, export, convert, print, guides, defaults. I see no reset. There perhaps there is one. We'll look for that later.